What's up guys, Wild and Customs here and finally we are going to take a look at the Black Series Boba Fett figure from Star Wars. I know it's been out for a while but this literally was my white unicorn of 2013. I was never able to find this guy online at a decent price or at any retail stores. But I shit you not, I got this guy for free. And I'll show you how I did it did that at the end of this video but um, definitely a pretty cool looking figure hopefully you stick around to see some nice up close visuals of it and my own opinion so let's open them up all right guys so here's Boba Fett out of the box and man this guy's awesome looking I can't believe I finally have it but let's talk about some things I noticed on this figure right away this belt looks really cool but it's so annoying first off this figure has a ball joint upper torso right here you can barely move it and get nice full rotation because the belt hinders it so that kind of sucks also leg you can't barely move his up his leg up that much because of these pouches these pouches are so hard there's no give you can't do literally that much at all so with the magic of video editing i'm going to modify it right now all right guys we are back and believe it or not i took a whole day off making this video and i found another boba fett at my local comic book store I got two of them now. Pretty cool. But getting back to my modification, as you can see, I changed the belt. And this way, he has a lot better rotation of ab joint, which is really nice. All the way back and forward. You can bend all the way down, which is pretty nice. And of course, the legs are free to move up and down all the way as they should have been meant to be. And you can get him to nice poses. Pretty good. You get him to a nice sniping pose when he's sniping. You get a gun in his hand. Or if you have a flight stand, you gotta poke a hole in the back, obviously. But... You could get into nice flight pose also and whatnot. So that's a lot better. And I'm a huge person, I'm a huge believer in that when you get a toy, you gotta do what you gotta do to make it better, to make it to your liking, because you're paying the money for it and you gotta make it the better make it the best figure you can. Um, it's yours, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, but getting to this figure overall though, it's a pretty nice looking figure. Let's get into articulation really quickly. Getting to articulation, Boba Fett has a ball joint in the head. It goes up, down, left, and right. Really nice movements too, so that's pretty cool, especially when he's flying around, looking down also. He has an ab joint, like I said before, new and improved. Goes up and down nicely. Also swivels. There's no swivel at the waist, but you have that, so still pretty good. It goes left and right just a little bit. The shoulder joints are pretty cool. The whole arm joint is actually pretty nice. He actually does have a shoulder pad right there but it actually goes into the body so it doesn't hinder the rotation so the shoulders goes all the way up all around nice rotation he also actually does have a ball uh, bicep swivel i didn't realize that but it's right there it's pretty good because they they also include those uh, hinge elbows that actually rotate up and down and also rotate left and right so a lot of rotation right there he also has a swivel over here at the wrist, swivel at the wrist over here also, and also has a hinge at the hand. So a lot of rotation and movement in the arms, which is awesome. So you get into nice sniping poses and whatnot. Getting to the bottom of his body, he has those T-jointed hips and new and improved also. So they go all the way up now, in and out. Swivel at the thigh, two points at the knee. No boot swivel, but he does have a nice pivot and a hinge at the ankle so he definitely has really nice rotation and articulation on this figure when you really take away the belt all of it really does come out a lot nicer like i said and you can get into a lot better poses now looking at the rest of this figure this figure is pretty cool looking i'm not a huge star wars fan but i'm a huge fan of the characters they produced like jedis and also the bounty hunters obviously boba fett is a pretty cool looking figure i love his jetpack and stuff like that. The jetpack is removable, which is a pretty cool option. And he does have a peg back there. I'm not sure it's the same size as the Marvel Legends flight stands, but maybe you can make it bigger. But you actually have to incorporate the peg that goes back there. So you might not want to do that. But other than that, the paint job and the detail of this figure is so accurate and nice looking that you can if you're not if, even if you're not a Star Wars fan, you have to admire it. How nice and a good job that Hasbro has done on these guys. Coming with the Black Series and the new Marvel Legends, Hasbro is definitely having a great 2013-14 year. And these figures are huge. Um, definitely huge things that they came out with. Definitely good examples of how they're improving their figures and their lines. Even the details on the helmet is pretty nice looking. The weathering, the paint job, all really nice. 
the quality also is getting a lot better in my opinion. Well, these figures are better, honestly, than the Marvel Legends in my opinion. Uh, better, harder plastic and stuff like that. Better joints. I'm surprised that they're not the same thing sometimes. But there are some, some similarities, obviously. If you take a look at the belt right now, the belt compared to the original one isn't the same one, obviously. But I think it's a lot better. It kind of reminds me of the Jonga Fett belt. It's not the same color either, but even the original belt has two-toned brown colors, so who cares. And I have his holster right here with his gun, of course. I'm not really sure where this belt is from. I have a whole box full of belts, so I just picked one that fit the best and connected it on. And I think it came out a lot pretty good, and I don't mind it. Far away, I think it still looks pretty nice overall. And this, I mean, you guys know this figure already. I just want to show you my opinion, how I like it, what I did to it. Definitely love the cape. I'm a huge fan of cloth capes, as you guys know. I believe it's something, the same thing as the old, the original Boba Fett figure, the small one that had it too. Uh, but so, like I said, definitely a really cool figure. If you guys can find one, like I ha have, you know, pick it up if you can. If, even if you're not a Star Wars fan, you have to admire these figures. They're pretty nice. I can't wait to the Obi-Wan Kenobi figure comes out. It's pretty. It's going to be pretty cool. And that's basically it, guys. So let's get some size comparisons and end this video. Size comparisons, here is Boba Fett with some of the other 6-inch figures from different lines. I like the size comparisons. These guys are well over 6 feet tall, some 6'2", you know, they're big guys. Someone like Peter Parker, Spider-Man is about 5'9", maybe. But um, the helmet gives them a little bit more height, but the overall body size, the scale, is more comparison to him than the rest of the guys. And I don't think Boba Fett's a big guy, so I like how it looks. And that's about it, guys. Like I said before, change that belt. you love the figure a lot more. And if you want to get him for free, like I did, well, well at least this one, then the way I did it was, well first off, you had to be 18 or older, that's a big thing, I'm claiming that right now, right now, be 18 or older, or if you're 18 at least, get your parents approval, but if you shop a lot like me on Amazon.com, I actually got an Amazon credit card, when you get that, you get 50 bucks for free, and I picked them up just like that. Or if you don't want to spend on him, spend on spend it on whatever you want, but you get 50 bucks for free to spend on Amazon.com when you get a credit card. And it's pretty nice to have the credit card too because you get a lot of rewards points and you can use that toward buying more toys. And that's about it guys, so thanks for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go to wildandcustoms.com. Thanks a lot guys. Peace.